indicate, and now they have uh, a chance to face one of those trick-or-treat teams in, in the uh, SEC when they travel to Seekonk Friday night at 7 o'clock. You like how I work in trick-or-treat yes, a few trick weeks away from Halloween? <laughs> and uh, so that'll, that'll be a chance for them to show that uh, they can get back into the thick of things. Yeah, well, uh, Seacock is actually coming off a bye week. Um, you know, they, they two weeks ago, they ended up losing to a Poniquet. Um, you know, it was a lopsided uh, loss there, which I think almost everybody's lost to a Poniquet in a lopsided right. uh, fashion this year. It's, it was uh, the third time they scored 40 points and a half, right? Uh, th yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, so. You know, and I think it was the third or fourth time they scored 40 or more points in the season of the Lakers. It's hard It's hard to keep track of all Poniquit's stats. Right, so just, the numbers are through the roof. Yeah, um, but the Warriors have lost two of their last three games, um, but they are, like I said, they are coming off the bye, so hopefully they, they've rectified a few things, and, and like Tim was saying, you know, they started off the season with that huge game, um, I think it was over Case, they ended up putting 50 points on the board, and then they, they, they lost the next week to to um, to Vogue Tech, and then they've also lost to Fairhaven, which you know is a team that's kind of on the rise. So you don't really know what kind of team Seekonk is, because like I said, a lot, you know, two weeks ago against Pontiac, everybody's losing a Pontiac right, big. Yeah. And Old Rochester is a team, you know, that started off the season, you know, strong, had a nice win streak going, undefeated, I think, going into week three or four. Uh, and they had lost to Vogue Tech, they had lost to um, to Dighton Rehoboth. And then, you know, they finally got back on track. Uh, you know, they beat Wareham. You know, big you know big rivalry. I know Wareham's down a little bit this year. Um, but, you know, that's always, you know, kind of one of those games you throw out the records. And, you know, it's kind of a, a battle from start to finish. And, and it was really, you know, a battle this, you know, that past week against the Vikings. You know, it was only a one-touchdown victory. Uh, mm -hmm. They only won by eight. And um, from talking to Brandon Cur Curry, our reporter that was there, it really came down to one play, you know, uh, uh, Wareham was going, you know, they were down by two and they went for it on, uh, you know, on two point conversion and they didn't get it. You know, old Rochester's defense, you know, held them and, you know, they ended up putting a, another touchdown on the board um, later in the game. But that was kind of the key. And I know Coach Henry Quinlan, you know, talked to his players, how much do you want this? You know, they really right. responded in that game. And, you know, we'll see if they can get a little bit of a streak you know, going with uh, with facing Seekonk. I know Ethan Lee's uh, he's had a breakthrough performance the last couple weeks. Uh, this past week he had uh, 70 rushing yards on 14 carries, or actually uh, 93 rushing yards on 14 carries, and Darian Yuman had 70 uh, yards on, on 14 carries, and Lee's scored uh, two of the touchdowns for Old Rochester in that game. So, you know, it's as the season's gone on, they've struggled a little, little bit putting points on the board, um, but it looks like they've had, uh, you know, kind of a added boost with Lizot's production recently, so that should help. All right, that'll be Friday at 7, Old Rochester at Seekonk. You can follow along with all the action on Twitter, at SC underscore varsity, and talk about the game using the hashtag SCVFootball.